Hi, right, welcome back to the Hide Science Vlog. Uh, today, we're going to compare light waves and sound waves and look at some things that all waves have in common. First, let's look at some things that all waves share. The properties that all waves, whether it's light, sound, or however you want to rec you know, call it, all waves are this way. First off, the most important thing to think about, the first thing that should come to your mind when you're thinking of waves, is energy. Waves wouldn't exist without energy. You must have energy uh, for waves to exist. The way energy travels is by waves. All right. The second thing, all right, second thing is all waves have that same relationship that we talked about in the last Hyde Science vlog between frequency, wavelength, and energy. So our frequency, which is hertz, and our energy they're going to be directly related. So these things are direct, directly related. What happens to one happens to the other. You, have, you raise the frequency, the frequency increases, so does the energy. If it lowers, the other one lowers. And finally, the wavelength is going to be the inverse of these. So if I have a a high frequency, or my frequency is increased, or my energy is increased, or I have a high energy, however you want to say it, then my wavelength, all right, is going to be small, little wavelength. If, you know, I had the big wavelength, then my frequency and my energy are going to be lower. All right, if you want even more information on that, you know, check back to the last vlog we had on here. All right, so light. Let's talk about speed. Speed of light versus sound. Well, the speed of light is roughly 300 million meters per second. And you can travel 300 million meters in one second. That's incredible. I uh, can't remember what speed of sound is offhand. Uh, you know, it's roughly, I think it's a little less. It's like, uh, I don't know, we'll just say it's about three, you know, approximately 380 meters per second. A little under uh, 800 mile an hour, 700 something mile an hour, something like that. So sound is significantly slower than light. Now, light does not travel the same speed in every medium. Sound does not travel the same speed in every medium. But all light travels the same speed in those mediums. All sound travels the same speed in those mediums. Light travels best when there's nothing in the way. All right, when it can just travel free, don't have to worry about any friction, it, it can rock and roll. And this is how light gets from the sun to the earth, traveling through the vacuum of space. So this is going to travel fastest in a vacuum, all right? Then it's going to, you know, if it comes into our atmosphere, right? It's going to start running into air particles. There's going to be a little bit of friction there, a little bit, right? So second thing, gas. Nextly, liquid. And finally, solid. And, you know, depending on the type of light, some light can't travel through solids. Some light can. You know, gamma radiation can travel through about any solid there is except for, you know, lead or very thick, you know, very thick solids. Sound is vibrations. Sound works when energy vibrates the matter next to it. It's very similar to uh, conduction of heat. And the energy is transferred from atom to atom to atom to atom. Sound is vibrations moving through. So sound cannot travel through a vacuum because there's nothing there to vibrate. Sound cannot be heard in the vacuum of space. So sound doesn't work in a vacuum. I know some movies, you know, you get some explosions and they, you know, I'm sorry, let you down. That don't happen. Sound's gonna travel fastest where the particles are the easiest to vibrate. They're easiest to vibrate when they're closer together. So sound travels fastest in a solid, then it travels next in a liquid, and then finally, it travels the slowest in a gas. Oh, you know, this is the old, you know, the old Western movies or whatnot. We see them put their ear on the ground or their ear on the train track. You can hear, uh, you know, vibrations or disturbances from further away through a better conductor of sound, like solid. Um, you know, and there's several things. You can put your head on the desk and beat on the, on the desk, and you can hear it a lot more clear, a lot more crisp with that. Uh, 
uh, the appearance. So our light waves, we tend to look at our light waves in a transverse pattern, right? Electromagnetic waves will have a transverse one, you know, kind of coming up, have your electro and then your magnetic fields, you know, kind of simultaneously, and I'll show y'all a diagram with that later. And then your sound is a compression, so it'll compress, spread out, right? And you get this compression moving down the line as the, as the vibrations compress matter, as we did with our slinky experiment. It tends to look like, so it'll come together and compress the matter, then it'll spread out. And then it starts compressing again, and then you have the spread out part, and it's compressing again, okay? And we got names for each of those. Uh, this is just compressions. Um, so this kind of, they look different because they work different. With our light waves, or with a transverse wave, like a water wave is a transverse wave, when it interacts with matter, okay, so our wave's kind of going up and down. So if we had some object here, a little orange dot there, as a transverse wave, if it had enough energy to physically, you know, move that, it's going to make the matter move up and down, right? It's going to make the matter move perpendicular. Right. So as the wave goes this way, right, as the wave travels that way, I'm sitting on that in orange, but as the wave moves that way, the matter is going to move perpendicular to that. Whereas in a sound wave, as a sound wave moves that way, if there was an object there, it's going to move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So if we have the dot there, it's going to move forward and backwards. This is parallel. So that's kind of our basics of the difference between light and sound. All right, we can go into more detail. We can, you know, add some more things in there. Uh, but that is the essential difference of light and sound. Um, and that all waves have energy. Always have this relationship between frequency, energy, and wavelength.